What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. This time I'm here to talk a little bit about knee pads and elbow pads. So I know there's a lot of videos already out there. I'm going to make this pretty short and quick. Um, there's a lot of different manufacturers. There's a lot of different brands out there to choose from. But I'm going to talk a little bit about the ones that I went with, which is made by Raceface. And uh, they are the, let's see, for the legs, they are called the Race face leg protection, and this is the uh, flank uh, model. And this particular model actually has the knee pad up top, and it has a little bit of the shin guard protection on the bottom. Now, I will say, um, I have used these, and the shin guard protection is great when it can actually, uh, when it's in use. But it is a little bit short on my leg. I have long legs. I'm six, six feet tall even. And so it doesn't reach all the way uh, to the bottom of my foot like I would like it to. But it does provide most of the protection that I need um, from my bike pedals and, and any other thing that may hit my shin. So um, that's the actual um, leg guards. Again, they're made by Race Face. And these are the flanks. And then I actually have the elbow pads. Uh, which are race face as well, and they are called the ambush elbow pads. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about these for a second. And the first thing that I kind of want to talk about is the sizing of these. So at first, um, when I ordered these back in December 2018, every single place was sold out of these things. I checked Amazon, I checked bike stores, local bike stores, out of state bike stores. I checked all of the big brand cycling um, companies out there as well. Uh, no one had these in stock. One particular company had them on back order and um, that was WorldwideCycling.com uh, and I'll put the link on the bottom They've been great. I've bought a few items from them. The customer service is great. The prices are great. Normally, you can find at least a 10% coupon online. Um, when you order things, they send you other coupons as well. They send you videos. It's just a great website to purchase from. Um, I'm going to be buying more things from them in the future. So shout out to WorldwideCyclery.com. And uh, I'll put the, put the information in, in the description below. But everyone was sold out back in December. When they finally got them back in, it was probably around, I want to say, February of 2019. It took a couple of months before these got in. And I ordered a size large because on the Amazon reviews and the online reviews of this particular um, style uh, leg guards and elbow guards, everyone was like, they run small, size up, size up, size up. So a little bit about me. I'm six feet tall. I'm slim. As you can tell, I'm not all that muscular. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not built. I'm, I'm, I'm very slim and athletic. I run a lot. Um, I try to exercise at least three times, two to three times a week. But I'm, I'm pretty much slim for the most part, or skinny, as you can say. I have really skinny legs, especially. So I would normally wear something like this in a medium. Like my T-shirt's a medium. Um, and so I was, I was thinking, you know, I shouldn't need anything... Um, bigger than that but I went ahead and took everyone's advice and I did size up to a large now when I did that what ended up happening was um, they came in and I tried them on and it was super super tight like super tight and so I was like yeah there's no way this is comfortable and so sent it back immediately um, exchange for an extra large uh, in which I had to actually ship the items back. The thing about Worldwide Cycling is that they ship for free, but if you do a return or exchange, you have to pay to pay for the shipping to go back to them. So I paid for the shipping to go back to them, which was about twelve, thirteen dollars, and then they shipped me the extra large sizing for free. And so when the extra large came, I originally put them on real fast, and it was such a such more comfortable. Um, more comfortable on my arms and legs than it was the large. I was like, oh yeah, these fit great. Um, I then went out and actually did a test ride on them, and yeah, they were just way too big. One, the knees were way too bulky, especially on the inside, which I'm going to show you how they fit. And the arms were literally like sliding down 
on my arm. So I knew at that point, yeah, the, the extra large wasn't going to work. So um, I then sent those back to get the large again. The good thing about getting the, the large and going the size down is the fact I read um, on, some, on a couple of reviews that these will start to stretch out the more you wear them. And so if that's the case, then the large should be fine. So I'm just going to try these on for you guys and kind of show you the fit. So this is a size large, and I do recommend what everyone says. If you are a medium, if you're kind of like my size, you're slim, athletic build, skinny legs, skinny arms, or, or you know, small arms, um, I, would, I would definitely size up uh, to a large. If you're bigger than that, if you have calves, if you have, you know, pretty big legs or knees, then extra large or even extra, extra large is going to be your size. But I would definitely go up from whatever you think you normally would wear. So if you normally would wear something like a medium, you need to go to a large. If you think you would wear a large, you need to go to an extra large. And if you wear extra large, you need to go up to an extra, extra large or 2X. So here's the uh, elbow pad in size large, right? And this was how I first put it on um, the last time I, I, when I first got the large, the first time I did the order. You can tell and see this thing is kind of tight. Like, it's, it's tight, and I haven't even officially, like, you know, um, attached the Velcro as of yet. I'm just sliding it on. At this point, I don't even need to attach the Velcro. Like, it fits, and it's tight. It's not going to slide down my arm or move like the extra large did. But as you can see, and I hate the little tag always kind of pops out. But you can see, this thing is, this thing is rather, rather tight. So with that being said, like I would not have to have the actual Velcro tight at all. All I have to do is actually just leave it as is. I don't even have to pull it to, to tighten it at all. I mean, I can and I will just to make sure it stays. But this is it. Like this thing fits perfectly, but it is tight. I'm not going to lie to you. For it not to be broken in at all and being brand new, this, this thing is really, really tight. And so... Um, not complaining though. The good thing is, is it's still movability. It's um, definitely breathable. You can't see in the inside here, or maybe you can, but that's my arm. It's kind of like a see-through, uh, breathable material right here. So you're, you're getting ventilation in your arm, but it is tight. You can actually see, you know, where my skin. Oh, I don't know if that's really giving you a good view. But from my end, you can you can kind of see where my skin is overlapping, not overlapping, but sticking up from the uh, pressure of the sleeve. Uh, so it is a tight fit. But the good thing is, is it's comfortable. Like I'm I'm not uncomfortable wearing it. I just wish it was a little bit looser. Uh, but I guess over time it will get a little bit more loose. So that is the arm guard. So again, it's not bad. Um, as long as it breaks in a little bit, as long as it breaks in a little bit, I think I'm going to be good to go. But compared to the um, extra large, yeah, this is a huge difference, huge difference um, compared to that. And in the inside of these, it actually has, um, it lets you know which one goes in the left arm, which one goes in the right. They are marked. And, uh, and yeah, I think these were actually, the elbow guards were... $70, I believe, with my 10% coupon. Um, I know that is a little high for, for arm guards, many of you would say, but, you know, protection is key. So um, I actually fell in these, and it protected my knees great and my elbow. So, hey, I'm not complaining at all. Now, on to the leg guards. So this is, again, a size large, and this one is marked left, okay. And then this one is marked right. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I can tell when these came, somebody returned these as well. Um, I can tell by the packaging on there because the first ones that came were like super packaged tight. Everything was where it should be. This one came kind of a little bit more disorganized. Um, so I could tell someone probably did the exact same thing that I did. Tried them on. It was too tight. Sent them back. Got it up a size up. Um, but, you know, at least they're new because the, the tags are still attached and everything. But, yeah, you, you definitely got to try these on first. If you have these in your local store, I recommend that you try them on before you buy them online. 
but these just restocked almost everywhere recently so i see them everywhere now so you should be able to contact your local store see if they have them i know amazon has them back in stock now um pretty much for the same price that i paid as well so uh but yeah so let's try on the leg now with these you cannot completely i'm sorry you can detach these from your um you don't have to actually take off your shoes for these these have detachable velcros on the back so that you can detach these you know and completely wrap around your leg um i don't necessarily want to do all of that because it's to me it's not really necessary so i'm just going to keep as is so i'm going to show you how this looks on my knee just want to make sure i see what side this one goes on okay this is left all right so I'm going to kind of move the camera a little bit so you guys can see. I just took my shoes off because, you know, I'm in the house. So, um, well, Let me just put the camera down. And so you can see my actual leg. I'm going to show you how this goes on. So you just slide it in. Or you can wrap it around if you detach all the Velcro. I just don't feel like detaching everything right now. And you can see my leg is super skinny. Like, I mean, it's, I have hardly no calf at all. So, um, not a big leg at all. So, I'm going to put it where it should go on my kneecap. I'm going to tighten all the Velcros. Yeah, this feels so much better than the extra large. I'm just going to attach the uh, the Velcro straps where they should all go. Now this Velcro is super strong, and which kind of worries me because it makes me wonder how is this going to hold up over time. But I mean, if I can get at least three years out of this thing or something, man, I, I should be good. Which I don't see it. I don't foresee it. Um, you know, anything happening before then. Um, Okay, so this is where all the Velcro parts are on. So at this point, this guard is completely where it's supposed to be on my leg. Now, with that being said, some of you are like, well, yeah, shin guard is kind of kind of low. As you can tell, it's not all the way down. So you, you're going to have, I'm just going to move the camera right quick so you guys can see. You're going to have space, probably, I don't know, maybe what's that, one and a half inches left open, um, which is definitely where a pedal could still hit. So it's not full protection of your shin, it's probably half protection of your shin, um, which does make a difference in buying. So I completely understand if someone says, no, that's not enough. Um, normally, though, when the pedals hit me, they usually hit where the race face um, logo is, uh, not logo, but the, the uh, wording is. So, yeah, it's, it's probably going to, you know, hit around there, probably not this high up, but again, it does provide some protection as well. Um, yeah, it does look a little bulky. I'm not even going to lie to you. Some people have complained about, you know, oh, it just looks too bulky. You know, I get it, but I'm going to tell you, uh, protection is worth more than looks to me. So, you know, as long as it protects my fall and protects my knees and my body and my bones, I'm completely okay if it looks a little bit bulky. When I rode in these, they were completely comfortable. I really didn't, um, I really didn't think twice of it as far as them being on my legs. I really didn't think anything of it until I fell. And then, you know, once it protected the leg, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, these definitely are, uh, work great. So, so yeah, to me, it's a pretty cool look. I mean, it's, it's, it's not too bad if you get the right sizing. And so, highly recommend them because I did fall in them. And it was a pretty pretty nasty fall. If you saw my last video at Markham Park in, in Sunrise, Florida, that's what I had on when I, when I did that fall. If you want to check out that video, you'll see the fall in the beginning of the video. These are what I had on um, when it comes to protection. The funny thing was is first thing I fell on was my elbow. And so, yeah, it, it, it helped protect me a lot. So I do recommend them. 
Um, the the actual leg ones were 100 and I think 100 bucks even or 105 or something. So yeah, they are kind of high, but you know, as far as protection, you're definitely gonna you're definitely gonna get that. These have doesn't have any kind of mesh or or see through ventilation on the legs, but what it does have is um, some holes in the back that you know are going to provide that that ventilation and breathability on the back. So that's where that um, where that's going to help uh, a lot. So that's pretty much it. And they do have the um, the D three O technology in them. And you can you know do more research online if you want, but I just wanted to kind of talk to, talk to you guys a little bit about those. I think that they'll help. And again, I just kind of wanted to get, make this video to show them to you. Um, definitely want to talk a little bit about the sizing. Don't want you to have to pay for all the shipping. I had to pay about thirty bucks in shipping just to try to get the sizing right. So if you're my size, my build, I would go with a large. If you're bigger than me, I would go with an extra large. If you're smaller than me, then I would go with a medium. And then, you know, if you're super small or young, then maybe the small may be best for you. But just be prepared. You might have to send them back to get a size up or down just to make sure you get the right fit. If it's not too tight, just keep it because, you know, they'll probably stretch out. But if it feels loose or too big, then you probably got too big of a size. So anyway, until the next video, I appreciate your time, guys. Like, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. Definitely let me know. Thanks for checking out my video. I'll see you next time. Peace.